Good morning. So I have been going a little nuts with my tomatoes in the basement. Uh, I need to repot some of them because they're all getting really big, even though I've repotted once. This is one of the problems that you run into when you start them as early as I do, is you end up with really large tomato plants, which is a, is a good thing if you can handle it, and I can handle it in my space, but it's also a challenge that you face. But anyway, I'm going to talk today about the indigo rose tomato. I'm going to give you a little background on it, tell you where it came from, and then I'm going to tell you why I'm not growing it anymore. And so there are a few reasons, but there's one big reason, and uh, you know I'm going to get to that in a minute. But, but first, a little description of the indigo rose. And I don't want to put it down too much because I think it's one of those tomatoes that everybody probably has to grow at least, at least once or twice. Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful tomato. It, at certain stage, it, it, it like kind of three quarter, two thirds to three quarters of the way through its, uh, its growth cycle, the tomato itself is a very dark purple. And that's when it's really its most attractive is when it's not quite ready for harvest. Although it is still stunning when you pick it, it's just not a pure dark purple color. It has, uh, more of a reddish tinge to the bottom. And so the top will be a dark purple, the bottom will be a dark red. So anyway, it's a very beautiful tomato. It's also very high in antioxidants. It is high in uh, anthrocyanins. I probably said that wrong because I have no idea what anthrocyanins are, but apparently it's a type of antioxidant that is very good for you. So, hey, one other reason to grow the indigo rose tomato. Um, and. You know, this was, uh, this, the indigo rose tomato actually came out of um, Oregon State University back in 2012, and it was kind of a big splash. So a lot of people think of it as an heirloom tomato, and it's not an heirloom tomato at all. It is a tomato that was developed and bred for its color and for its, its high um, antioxidant content. So, so for those, those two reasons, it's definitely worth a try. But here are the reasons, and there's multiple reasons. Here are the reasons why I'm probably not growing it again. Number one, it's not a very large tomato. I love cherry tomatoes, and I love just slicing tomatoes too. Uh, they, have, they both have a place in our diet, and, and you get the cherry tomatoes earlier, you get the, the, and throughout the season even, and then the larger tomatoes tend to, at least where I am, to come a little bit on the later side. Now, the, the indigo rose fits somewhere in between the two. It's not a full-sized slicing tomato. You're kind of not going to slice it too much. You're probably just going to try and eat it whole, except the thing is you probably need to cut it in half. So it's not a super convenient tomato, although, you know, I suppose if you cut it in quarters, throw it in a salad, convenient enough. Um, but it, it doesn't mine. The ones that I planted did not produce as much as my other tomato plants. So, um, you can see like a picture here of one of my tomato plants that just did really, really well. And that one was a mortgage lifter tomato and that produced like crazy. Now I gotta say the mortgage lifter tomato flavor on that one, not superior, but it produces a lot of tomatoes. And so uh, it's definitely uh, one that I often have in the mix. I don't have it in the mix this year, but I will in the future. Um, However, the, the indigo rose, it doesn't produce like a cherry tomato, uh, like a good cherry tomato where you just get tons and tons of cherry tomatoes, and it doesn't really produce like a really good uh, heirloom um, or non-heirloom hybrid, uh, hybrid uh, just salad tomato. So anyway, so it kind of falls between the two, produces a little less than I wanted. Second, it also has um, a shorter lifespan than some of the tomato plants that I have, that I've, that I've grown. It doesn't produce for as long a time. So it doesn't produce for as long as, say, a cherry tomato, which might produce for a couple of months and just keep going. The, the indigo rose kind of stops. Uh, and I, it's, as far as I can tell, a determinate variety, maybe not, but it seems to kind of stop growing and it produces and then it kind of peters out. Uh, so it's not, uh, in that way, it's just not prolific enough, and there aren't enough other reasons for me to grow it. Um, the final reason, though, the biggest reason that I'm not growing the indigo rose tomato is the taste. 
And you would think a dark tomato would have a stronger, deeper flavor. The indigo rose tomato doesn't. It's kind of light on flavor. And that, for me, was the biggest disappointment. So here I am growing the indigo rose tomato, thinking I'm going to get this really, like, deep flavor out of it. And I just didn't. And so for me, that really was the combination of factors really is, uh, is why I'm not growing it. If it were producing like crazy and the taste was kind of meh like it is, I would definitely go for it again. If the tomatoes were a little larger and it were producing kind of the same way it's producing, I would say, yeah, yeah, it's a good bet. If it were a cherry tomato and it was just, you know, going like gangbusters, but the flavor was kind of eh, I might consider it again. Probably I wouldn't. But with a combination of sort of the strange medium size small to medium-sized tomato, not really abundant, uh, and, uh, and the flavor just being kind of eh, eh I decided I am not growing the indigo rose tomato again. However, I really think that it's one of those tomatoes, like I said, that everybody needs to grow at least once. So if you haven't tried it, it's worth it just to see that color, just to kind of appreciate what uh, what a really unique purple tomato looks like, I would say go for it. But if you are trying to maximize your production in a small space, then maybe you don't have room for an indigo rose tomato. Uh, uh, one more reason to grow it though is it really helps you increase your Instagram followers. So anyway, um, that is what I have to say about the indigo rose tomato. I hope you will forgive me for my honesty because I know it's a very popular plant um, and still give me a thumbs up anyhow. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you would and check out foodforestgardenclub.org. We're having so much fun there and we look forward to seeing you. All right, thanks. Hope you get out in the garden and uh, have a great day.